It's round six of the Yorkshire Cyclocross Championships, arguably the most challenging series in the UK. Everyone's quite good in Yorkshire as well, aren't they? The season is well and truly underway, and with the scorching temperatures of the first round seeming like a lifetime ago, last time around we were once again slipping and sliding in the mud. And I finished 23rd for the third time this year. The question is, can I hold on to the wheels of the guys just ahead this time round and bag myself a top 20? Another cross race, this time we're in Wakefield. Yeah, it's a bit much colder today. It's about five degrees or so. I think it's like 12 degrees last week. Um, though much, much drier. It's been much drier for the last couple of days. Um, so the mud that probably would have been on this course has dried out a little bit and made it a little bit uh, kind of like peanut butter, kind of Nutella, kind of, Nutella kind of uh, consistency. Um, so nice and sticky, uh, mostly grippy in most places. Probably only one boggy corner, which is like down the bottom of the, uh, the course which is um yeah giving that kind of option done it a few times i've probably seen already on the first lap of the recce james managed to uh crash uh caught his uh, lever on the uh, on the uh, course marker and uh yeah went, it braked and um yeah went down um and um yeah we've just been kind of debating between ourselves like whether it's quicker or to run or kind of like cycle around the outside of that one um and um yeah we did a bit of a test there and i think um I I think it's a case of um, that it'll be quicker for uh, to run um, mainly because if you're following someone into that and they pet like pedal round and they make a mistake and you're on that same line as them it's very hard to kind of uh, correct and they get around them and um, so they're going to hold you up whereas if you're off and running you can get past them a little bit better um, and so yeah it, even if it is yeah you just got to watch yeah watch the kind of what there is a few routes and stuff on the on the exit as well so getting back on and stuff um got to take it kind of uh carefully and then the other kind of interesting bit on the course is uh this bit here so uh you go down this little hill after the off camber into this kind of like yeah quite tacky mud down the bottom here and then a steep uh kind of bank to get out of it um, and then on the first lap it was no problem to kind of like get out and then on lap since then it's been getting harder and harder on the exit just like as you go too wide it's really really slippy and you just you lose a lot of uh, lots of momentum to get up the hill um, so I think we've worked it out that um, the best way is to go break as you come down the steep bank take a really tight line um, along here so Break as you come down there, really tight line up against this tape here where you can still still some green there, so it's a bit a bit of grip, and then take it diagonally up the hill and up the bank. Um, so hopefully that's the line I'm gonna be able to take. Haven't actually been able to test it out, but the other guys have done it and they said yeah it works and stuff. Otherwise, um, if you go offline, I think you're gonna to have to run on the exit, which is not too bad. It's only like four steps up the hill and then you're back on your bike and you're fine again. So uh, yeah, really, really like this course. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be power sapping like last week. I think it's going to be nice, fun, fast, um, lots of flowy corners, which I like, as I said last week. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to getting stuck in. The first ever Yorkshire <laughs> Cycle Cross race I did was at Temple Newsham. And I think my chain came off seven times. So it came off about once a lap. And you know the big banking yeah. by the athletics track? It came off there and Karish ran up the hill to try and help. And then I said, no, no, you're not allowed to help. She backed off fell over and slid all the way down the hill <laughs> on her ass and she's not been to watch a bike race. <laughs> that was four years ago. Go on John. Go on John, go on, keep it going. Go on, go on. 
Right, nearly time for the race. Did a lot of faffing in between the uh, the recon and now, so uh, only managed to get in like a 10 minute kind of quick uh, warm up. But yeah, feeling legs are feeling pretty good. Yeah, did a few kind of like sprint efforts up and down the hill and um, just trying to open up the legs and stuff. But uh, yeah, feeling good. Um, yeah, I think, uh, well, I think it's time to, to get in, get stuck in and uh, get going. Third on the whistle for the next 30 seconds. That was good fun that one quite enjoyed it yeah so hard as always but uh yeah felt really good like uh yeah just felt quite like i felt like i held speed quite well through that one so unfortunately my gopro died however that gives me an opportunity to kind of go into a little bit more detail about how the race actually went didn't get a good start once again starting on this kind of like soft ground is not great for me i just kind of with the extra weight that i'm carrying compared to everyone else i just seem to kind of dig in a little bit more and uh, get some wheel spin off the line um trying to take like the wider line where people haven't um kind of like haven't been uh, riding as much to see if i can get a little bit more grip um um, and also because yeah there was a there was a crash in the race beforehand around about this point so I just kind of wanted to in case anyone did touch wheels and stuff I wanted to make sure um, I had a clean way, clean way through going through and I'm kind of at the back of this uh, the main kind of front pack uh, managed to make up a couple of places through this bit getting off the bike early um, and uh, running um, while everyone's kind of getting stuck on the bottom of the hill thinking they ride it and then I kind of decided through this kind of section here to do the same thing again. I saw people kind of making a few mistakes up ahead. So I managed to get off the bike early, run around them. And I think I made up probably four or five places there just in that kind of one corner. Um, so, yeah, that was a kind of kind of, yeah big brain move that I thought I did there. Um, a bit slow getting back onto the bike, going up the hill, but um, yeah, I think it was a net gain of about three places in total. So yeah, I'm kind of in this kind of the back end of the front pack. Um, yeah, with like kind of bit of a gap behind us. Um, and uh, yeah, just kind of, my plan is to try and stay here as long as possible and then try and pick off some people um, as we kind of go through the race and hopefully end up somewhere in, the, in like the kind of, the top 30, top um, 20 kind of riders uh, by the end of the race. But um, yeah, we're coming up to this section before where I decided to run it. And this time instead, I've got a bit of a gap in front of me. I'll ride it. And yeah, that's where things started to unra unravel. So there's a bit of a route there that I caught, slipped, and um, yeah, just had to put a foot down, get back in again, kind of losing the wheel in front of me. And then, yeah, just took some weird lines through this bit. Not sure, trying to get back again. And yeah, crashed into a tree, uh, going too wide in the corner. Um, so yeah, lost lots of time there. Look, you can see them sailing ahead of me. I've got obviously this guy's coming past me as well. Uh, guy telling me to like and subscribe. Great, thanks mate. By the end of the uh, second lap, there's a good, what, 15, 20 second gap um, to the tail end of that group. And I'm kind of 
pretty much in no man's land with a big gap, massive gap behind me. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how my race kind of unfolded. In the end, I finished 21st in the seniors. Um, so yeah, just outside of that top 20, which is what I'm trying to aim for this season. About a minute gap to the next person. So yeah, so I still need to find about 10 seconds a lap um, to kind of get inside that top 20. And um, yeah, it's not going to help me. I'm going to keep making mistakes like that. Probably what I worked out on that kind of sequence of corners, probably quicker for me to run that kind of whole section of uh, tight corners. I just feel like when it's so tight and fiddly like that, just my extra kind of weight that I'm carrying, it help, doesn't really help to kind of get that acceleration, especially with all the bumps and stuff. But yeah, it was probably just quicker for me to get off the bike early on before that kind of uh, first uh, left hander uh, run through the kind of what the three or four corners and uh, get back on again cyclocross is all about carrying speed and i think um yeah that's the best way to do it this weekend it's the regional championships over in crew so i've got good two and a half hour drive over to get to that course It'll probably be very different to the what the courses we get over in yorkshire so uh yeah looking forward to that see if i can uh yeah, do a little bit better than I did this time and just keep making those improvements.